you're getting married to Kiara Advani, all right, and it's obviously the most this is the biggest day of your life, right? Mm. And uh, your bestest friend, like the person you're depending on to do everything on your wedding day, help you out with the uh, you know the clothes and the arrangements and everything. Yes, I can hear you. Good afternoon, Mahesh. How are you? Oh, very good afternoon. I'm good. What about you? I'm doing very well. How is your day going by so far? Oh, my day is going well. I was mm-hmm. doing a study in library, and I just came back at my room, and now um, uh, I'll be going coaching after half an hour. Okay, after half an hour. So you said you were at the library. Do you have a small library set up in your home, or you literally went out somewhere? No, I went out uh, to the library. Okay, fine. So you are in a very studious mood these days. Ha, huh, yeah, we can say. <laughs> All right. So what do you what prefer? You? My day is going as planned. Nothing interest. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's just taking classes here and outside. So it's the same routine. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Right. And uh, you said you went to the library. So that is very rare. I hardly hear people saying that because almost everything that we need. to know right it's been shifted online these days there's been a transition from books to so like internet what do you prefer do you still prefer having that book in your hand to study or do you like surfing the internet for information uh, i'll prefer a uh, book in my hands mm-hmm. book in your hands i prefer hard right. copy yeah rather than online okay any particular reason why because when we are reading something on mobile so Yeah. Uh, other notification are popping up and we get distracted sometimes yes other than yes. that uh, when we are uh, reading something on mobile so it also mm. uh, affecting our eyes hmm yes yes so that's why i prefer hard copies okay that's quite a good reason to be honest it happens with me all the time even if i'm surfing the internet for some information there'll be some ad from mintra amazon flipkart then i'll <laughs> go there and after that it's 2 hours of online shopping So it's like that, yeah. So you often shop on uh, online. Sorry. You often shop online. Often, uh, no, I surf online. I don't shop. It's it's like uh, online window shopping. So there are many items in the cart. Uh, mm-hmm. Very rarely <laughs> do they go into that delivered mode. So it's just for fun, yeah. That's how it is. Yeah, uh, just for searching and checking them out, like how's the yeah. product. Yes. Is there any offer going on? What is the product mm-hmm. like? Can I get it for? Can I get it at a cheaper rate on some other platform? So <laughs> useless activities, basically. <laughs> okay. Ah, that's great. Yeah. So Mahesh, can you describe a time when you saw something very interesting on social media? Something very interesting. It can be a fo- a picture or a video, uh, something that grabbed your attention. I would say as a uh, I like memes a lot and some comedy funny videos. Yeah. So it uh, used to happen, uh, or maybe it, uh, yeah. happened to me that whenever I'm uh, maybe uh, operating Instagram and also mm-hmm. yeah, there are many uh, pictures and uh, memes which which grab my attention at that time because I'm okay. kind of meme lovers. Meme lover. <laughs> All right. How many meme pages do you follow on Instagram? Have they become uncountable? Uh, I haven't counted, but yet they are ten to twenty something between them. Okay. All right. And mm. you know, when you wake up in the morning, do you reach for your phone the first thing when you wake up, or do you have any other routine or ritual like you like reading the newspaper or having a cup of coffee, anything like that? Yes, I first of all I check my mobiles for some okay. important information or maybe some non-important as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. And same here. Okay. Otherwise, it feels the day feels incomplete. It's a habit that I'm trying to get rid of as much as I can, but it becomes addictive, right? Sometimes. Addictive, right? Yeah, we have to check at least once when then we feel that now everything is okay. Now we can move on to the other words. Yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, this this, this uh, fear of missing out, as people call it, FOMO, that is very real these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. Okay. Um. Whenever you have to make any tough decision, right? It could be anything. Mm-hmm. Uh. Do you take decision emotionally or practically? 
I would say it's a mixture kind of thing, a uh, little bit of uh, practical as well as a little bit of emotional too. It depends what kind of uh, decision it is. It depends okay. and vary from decision to decision. Okay. So um, when it is, when it comes to your friends and family during that time also, do you think that sometimes we have to be a little practical, even though we feel like, okay, let's take this decision from the heart, but the brain comes into picture too sometimes. Yeah, when uh, as far as friends and family is concerned, so yeah, definitely I will uh, give preference to the emotional part. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> so I'll I'll give you one situation now, okay. And the first thing you have two uh, very important events coming up. The first one is uh, your very close cousin's uh, wedding. All right, mm-hmm. you both have grown up together, almost like siblings, right? It's your uh, cousin's wedding. And the second, you have to attend uh, a felicitation program. Like you've given some exam and you're the topper and they are trying to felicitate you there. All right. And unfortunately, both the events are on the same day. So when you come to know of this information, first tell me, how are you going to feel? What are all the things that's going to go in your brain? Uh, So uh, so, uh, if this is the situation, then Mm -hmm. uh, definitely I I would like to attend both uh, cases mm-hmm. both the situation okay uh, what but, do you say it's not possible <laughs> only but one it, uh, yeah. but i have to attend the one then mm-hmm. outside i'll be going to attend the uh, attend the felicitation program okay you'll go to attend the felicitation program yeah. uh, why this choice the reason behind is that uh, mm-hmm. my cousin's marriage can happen without uh, me if i'm not there there is not going to be much difference. A little bit, my cousin definitely will be, uh, mm-hmm. I would say, and happy mm-hmm. to me. But uh, mm-hmm. when I will not go into that felicit- uh, felicitation mm-hmm. program, then then who is going to get the uh, whatever they are uh, giving? So I would say mm-hmm. that uh, uh, yeah. that function can't be completed without me. Okay. But this yes, function so can be completed me. without me. So I would prefer mm-hmm. to go to the felicitation program felicitation, felicitation program. program okay all right and it is unhappy with me not to me unhappy with me okay, okay. unhappy with me so. all right so when you uh, tell this to your family members like oh, i'm so sorry i won't be able to attend your wedding and i told you that person is very close to you and if they start trying to you know blackmail you emotionally how will you deal with this situation would your decision sort of waver that time would you feel like okay i'm in a dilemma right now i should rethink my decision or how will you uh, decide again yeah definitely it's kind of dilemma kind of situation there is no yeah. sh- uh, doubt with that mm-hmm. but uh, i have made decision that i'm going to the felicitation program then i'm going mm-hmm. yeah uh, he might be trying to uh, mm-hmm. uh, convince me but uh, def- mm-hmm. uh, still uh, i try to make him understand mm-hmm. that uh, that function is still important for me as okay. uh, comparatively if we compare both the program then I should go mm. there because that uh, functions can't be uh, completed without me so that's yeah. why I should go there ethically I should be there <laughs> I know you <laughs> are my loved ones but still, uh, I should yeah. go there okay and when you tell them this now that I have decided to go to my uh, academic program and I can't attend your wedding just imagine your real friends and family how will they react when you explain it to them? Do you think they'll be understanding or do you think they'll be really mad at you for uh, taking this choice? Okay, so I would say depend or it vary mm-hmm. person to person that mm-hmm. uh, which kind of my cousins is. Uh, when uh, if he is like, uh, uh, mm-hmm. he's something like uh, can understand the situation well and yeah. uh, think that, yeah, I should go there because we, that uh, program is also important for him. And yes. then he will, uh, yeah, definitely he will mad at me, but yeah, I still mm-hmm. will say that, yeah, you should uh, attend that uh, program mm-hmm. because that is also important for you and for your career. Yes. Uh, but uh, if he is someone like that, he, he doesn't care any uh, anything mm-hmm. about anyone, then yeah, he definitely will uh, mm-hmm. mad at me and say, uh, not going, uh, you should not go, I won't let you go there and you should mm-hmm. stay here with uh, me and uh, attend my marriage. So it varies from person to person. Yeah, it varies from person to person. Yeah. Okay, varies, not vary. It varies from person to person. All right. 
and um, i had another question for you how could i forget okay this is the one so now that when you get to know that both the events are happening at the same time on the same day would you try to before making this decision would you consult anybody if yes then who sorry i i just would you like to consult someone before making this decision right uh, choosing between the two big options in front of you who would you consult ah uh, yes i have my uh, cousins so i have my cousins uh, with whom i i will discuss that uh, which uh, mm-hmm. option should i choose now mm-hmm. but still the final decision will be taken by me because i am the one who mm-hmm. is going to uh, uh, take the pros and cons of the decision so yeah mm-hmm. definitely it, the decision is going to be taken by myself but mm-hmm. yeah i will consider a little bit that what can be the uh, mm-hmm. i would say pros and cons of the both situation okay you will evaluate try to both. evaluate the situation okay all right now imagine that you were at the receiving end like it is uh, your wedding okay <laughs> let's imagine that it <laughs> oh, is your wedding so who is the who is the bride here <laughs> that you should tell me who is the bride i can't tell you you should tell me no because you are arranging my marriage so uh, now you are supposed yes. to tell me that she is your bride so let me check <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you have any favorite celebrity please let me know i will make that person your bride for this session okay then just <laughs> make kiara advani <laughs> okay fine okay you are getting married you are getting married to kiara advani all right and it's obviously the most this is the biggest day of your life right mm. and uh, your bestest friend like the person you are depending on to do everything on your wedding day help you out with uh, you know the clothes and the arrangements and everything he tells you that buddy i have this program that i have to attend to sorry i can't go now tell me how are you going to react to this <laughs> i i will try my best that i will not let him go because uh, is it <laughs> yeah okay. i know and now you will uh, you might be thinking that yeah you are so biased when you are at this place you are not going you are not letting him go but okay. still i would try to uh, hmm. make him understand that if you mm-hmm. can skip this uh, that program then you should i will try my okay. best at the uh, mm-hmm. i'll try my best to uh, mm-hmm. make him stay at at the wedding okay how will you bribe him to stay at your wedding what are the things that you're going to offer him like if you stay okay party is guaranteed from my end something like that will you blackmail him emotionally or would you bribe him with gifts and something like that so as i told you that i will try every possible way you know uh, okay. will give him bribe will give him parties and gifts or yeah. at the end of the day uh, i i might uh, blackmail him emotionally <laughs> yeah, i i just as i said that sham dam then the bed i will try all yes. these things <laughs> okay perfect i love love your honesty mahesh you will not leave any stone unturned you will make sure your friend will be yeah. there at your wedding yeah yeah i will try my best and i will never mm-hmm. leave any stone unturned Okay, so and you can tell him like you can you know post a selfie with Kiara Advani. Come on, you can't do that at your felicitation program. Yeah, I'm I'm getting married to a celebrity man. Yeah. You will get a chance to take selfies and all. <laughs> yes, of course, I will also be a celebrity now. Ah, so. huh. if you go now, then then we will like I I won't uh, take you yes. selfie with me. <laughs> okay, okay. Tomorrow, no, no selfies tomorrow. with you, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right, amazing, great, great answers, Mahesh. I'm enjoying this conversation a lot. Okay, so <laughs> all right then. And you said you're preparing for some exam and you're going there for coaching, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, has there been any moment in your life when you have felt incredibly proud of a friend because they have achieved something really big, whether it is academically or you know, some good deed that they did, and you felt really inspired by them? I would say all my friends are nakara. <laughs> I mean, I really hope your friends don't see this video, as you will be in for big trouble. <laughs> sure. Hi, sorry, sorry, sir. I just take my words back. Take I was just, back? Okay. I was just kidding. <laughs> okay, maybe we can edit this out. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So, so no. yeah. Hmm. i'm not able to remind or recall anything right now okay no problem no problem that's okay uh, has it ever happened that a friend or any person has come up to you and they've said like i really like what you're doing and you felt proud of yourself for doing something 
ओके सो यस एज आवर यूट्यूब चैनल यू नो दैट सो मेनी पीपल आर डूइंग कमेंट डाउन दे यस वी वी लव योर वीडियोस कीप पोस्टिंग एंड वी आर लर्निंग फ्रॉम इट वी आर गेटिंग न्यू न्यू थिंग्स वी आर लर्निंग न्यू वर्ड्स आवर इंग्लिश इज इम्प्रूविंग दिस आर द थिंग्स विच आई प्राउड ऑफ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इन रियल लाइफ आई बिलोंग टू अ विलेज सो uh in 12th uh, in my 12th mm-hmm. class i got selected mm-hmm. for the scholarship mm-hmm. by the cm of mp in which i got a uh, laptop yeah. for that wow so for that many people of my village were uh, mm-hmm. congratulating me and saying that be proud of yeah. you so that was the moment that uh, people are prouding of me yeah people were proud of you all right brilliant that's a big mm-hmm. moment to be honest na quite big was, yeah. was your uh, you know pictures splashed across newspapers and do you, ha- you still have the cuttings of all that Ah uh, yeah, sort of cuttings I have seen. Okay, very well. Good, good to know that Mahesh. We're almost towards the end of the session, and I must say I had a great time interacting with you today. And I think it's been quite long since we last spoke, right? Yeah, so it's been long. So that's one thing. Yeah, and your English has improved tremendously. You don't self-repeat. Uh, you mm-hmm. don't take unnecessary pauses. You don't use many fillers. So amazing job. Just one small thing. Try not to. avoid using e's and r like we proud of you no we okay. are proud of you yeah okay. sometimes you don't use e sometimes you don't use r try to use it wherever necessary and sure. yeah that's it and am also the word am like okay e's so, r and am that's it i too enjoyed the session because it's been Thank so you. long so i was like yeah. missing you i was not getting session with you so finally uh-huh. i got a session so i was very happy that i'm going to interact with omega ma'am thank you the pleasure is all mine and uh, same here i think the last time we spoke you were in a hurry you had to go somewhere or do something na but this session was much much more interactive so yeah. i really enjoyed it and if you have any questions for me mahesh please uh, feel free to ask yeah you are looking so beautiful are you oh thank you thank you so much <laughs> That's a huge compliment. Thank you. Now I'm energized for taking ten more sessions. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. And I think we have a couple of seconds left, right? So have a great day, and uh, hope to see you again. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Same. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.